class, Ranger Josh here. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some electrical safety. And some of those things are going to be your fire safety and how to deal with people that have been uh, shocked and also that are maybe unresponsive due to electrical shock. So here's an outlet. Seems to be on fire. We want to make sure that we never ever throw water on an electrical fire as water is a conductor and you could get shocked and it's also going to make the fire worse so we want to make sure that we get away and we also want to try to turn off the power to the outlet so we got to our power panel where the circuit is breaker is going to be so we're going to open it up and we look to find where the circuit breaker is and it shows that it's number seven outlet at the bench and on the side we're going to look to one side of the power panel is going to be odd the other side is going to be even we go over and we shut it off making sure that everybody is out of the house or building that you're in and safe you want to try to see if you can find a fire extinguisher that you can extinguish the fire safely if the fire is too big now then you must get out of the house or building to safety and call 911. Fire extinguishers are good to have in everybody's house, several of them uh, at different locations within your house. You're wanting to look for one that is an ABC, and as you can tell, the C is there for electrical equipment. You can remember that by C is for circuit. So to wrap up our safety talk on electrical safety and first aid for electrical incidences, make sure that when you are checking for electrical burns and you do find them on somebody that you are not wrapping them, that you're not putting water on them, keeping you must keep them uh, dry and make sure that debris does not get into them until the EMS personnel uh, is able to get there uh, after you've called 911. Remember that uh, you're not only going to see the burns on the surface, but uh, it'll also more than likely have burnt into the tissue itself. So you're wanting to make sure that you're not causing any more harm to your victim. So make sure that you're uh, reviewing your safety protocols for when you're dealing with electricity and stay safe.